Hey guys, so today I'm making a video about RD Timmy's finally waking up and realizing they've been effed by the Rudy Chan all along. And the answer is probably yes. So I actually got statistics on Social Blade for Alpha Investments channel. As you can see, the Timmy's are no longer impressed by Ixlon hits all time high. Invest, invest, invest. And Hasbro needs to remove the list. And you can also see that he, 13 days ago, made a video about uh, the 369,000 subscriber question Q&A. But since that time, he's actually not grown. Not only has not grown, but he's lost about 1,000 subscribers. I think he took advantage of the pandemic. He sold a lot of very hype products. A lot of people subscribed to him because they wanted to know how to make money. This is no drip different than crypto. Uh, crypto channels are way, way down. I used to watch this guy called Brian Jun. He used to get hundreds of thousands of views, just like Rudy Chan did. Now he barely, now he's kind of uh, doing credit card stuff and he'll be happy to get 10, 20,000 views a video. But yeah, the, the easy money is gone and therefore people are no longer as interested to learn how they too could become multimillionaires investing in cardboard right uh, which was never honestly the truth the only people who got rich were the multi-millionaires selling you the cardboard not the ones investing into the cardboard so things are looking pretty bad i have inside sources uh patrons telling me he's been blocking everyone with anything negative to say even if you're like just questioning the product uh you will be blocked and this is very bad because these are paid people. These are these are this is like your hardcore hardcore. These are people paying you for the opportunity to chat with you, and the comment sections and Patreon, and they're being blocked on on mass, and they're not coming back. A lot of these products, Arjun Saga, there was that Kickstarter or whatever it was, a Rudy sale for it. It's gone. Uh, Force of Will is gone. Battle. He did uh, buddy buddy fight, right? Which is gone. Uh, he did Meadow Zoo, which is on its last leg. Let's not kid ourselves, right? And Disney Locana, the one game Rudy says he won't touch, is the one game that is hot as anything, and you cannot find it anywhere. And if you're lucky enough to find it at Walmart, uh, people are buying all of them. So it's interesting because, again, he doesn't sell Disney Locana, so he doesn't talk about Disney Locana. Now, in terms of Magic 30th, the one event that got him a lot of views, right? Because everyone thought, oh, he's against Hasbro. He'd be, he'd be pumping Ixalan, my dudes. <laughs> like, you know, what's wrong? What's wrong with Magic 30th? It was a fine piece of, what if you can afford it, and you're that's the type of high roller. It's like high limit room, right? I don't have a problem with it. You know, it's just a magic product of many, many magic products which they pump and dump on us. So it's, uh, I think the best comment I saw on Reddit was whenever Amazon has a sale or uh, Star City Games or Card Shop Live, which is Channel Fireball, has a sale. Oh man, they're destroying the community. They're destroying the local game store. No, Rudy, that's you. Because whenever you have a sale, you kind of... Oh, hey, man, and uh, Rudy's having a good sale. It's because uh, he loves us, right? He loves us, Patreons. But here's the thing, guys. Um, when Before Rudy Chan, people would come to your local game store, buy a box, you know, support the local game store, and then open the box in the store. It would be a fun community event. Nowadays, no one is opening boxes, and they're not buying a single box. They're buying cases, if not pallets, of these boxes to sit on and alone at home. So the community part of buying a box, you know, actually I was with my girlfriend's nephew. He bought the 25th anniversary Yu-Gi-Oh box and uh, two other guys bought the box. They were at Mortal Cards, a uh, new card shop, still not apparently open, but okay. Um, they sit there and they're opening the cards and he's watching them open cards. They're watching him open cards. They're trying to trade with each other. Uh, they give him a, a free card that he needed and hit deck. That's the community, my friends. That's what it used to be. Now it's everyone ordering pallets or cases at home from Rudy Chan, and no one going to a local game store except to play after their pallets. I think it is a very disturbing thing that Alpha Investment thinks Amazon is the reason that it's being destroyed, 
when Amazon wasn't doing dumps, they didn't do, Rudy has been dumping on the community for much longer than Amazon. So people say, oh, Amazon has more reach. No, it does not. It does not because Rudy has in time, in the time span, right? Amazon has definitely cut his business model. That's why he doesn't like it because they do what he does, but cheaper and better and better customer service because they have more than one dude doing it, right? They have a whole team of people doing it. And uh, the one thing I will say is people are, people are going to know. People already know. Um, the smart people have already understood what Rudy is trying to do to them. And they're out. And I get plenty of emails of you know people just very upset at Rudy's hand for his behavior. And I will get plenty more. And then Rudy's fans will attack me. And it's cool. It's cool to attack me. Do it, right? I don't give a shit. You think, you know, I sent a dude to jail. You don't think that dude and his fans attacked me relentlessly for the last two years? Do you think Mana Source, when I was covering the Mana Source, you don't think his fans attacked me for the, for over a year? You don't think uh, Pico Trade, right? I thought Pico Trade was an embarrassment. I, I, I sent an email to Pico Trade saying that you guys are a scam. <laughs> they sent me an email saying, hey, we wanted to sponsor you. I sent an email back, you guys are a scam. And they said, oh, well, we no longer want to sponsor you. Right? Jeremy, Jeremy Hambly from the quarter lane, he took sponsorship from uh, Puka Trade because they pay so much. They pay so much money from Tularean Community College for Puka Trade and the monthly Magic Box. Like, you, you don't think that, like, I'm still here. Mana Source is not. And Tolarian wouldn't dare do another Pico Trade deal again, right? Sending the lamb to the slaughter. But you get, it. and then you, you look at this, and anyone with an intelligence, if I bring this case to my uh, Rolex community or Luxury Watch YouTube channel, I guess it's now Luxury Watch YouTube channel. It's supposed to be a marketing channel, a lawyer channel, but it's just become mar uh, Luxury Watches. If I bring that to them, I bet you. That they will dissect Rudy Chan and and bring me information about him that you guys don't know. The question is, do I really have the time and focus to really work on this for that much? No, because I have to work on my other channel, which is growing. Unlike Rudy's Alpha Investment channel, the other channel is growing at a substantial rate. Uh, imagine doing a Q and A for three hundred and sixty nine thousand subscribers, and then in thirteen before you're able to do the Q and A, you lost a thousand subscribers. People are waking up. They really are. And good good on them. 